Well, they do say imitation is the most sincere form of flattery. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 most copied movies. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we'll be ranking the most influential movies that went on to either create a genre or inspire other films in its wake. We're not necessarily talking about blockbusters or even mockbusters, but rather inspired slices of cinema that were responsible for setting the standards and creating benchmarks for years to come. Shirley, you can't be serious. I am serious, and don't call me Shirley. Number 10, The Blair Witch Project. Horror fans seeking out the roots of found footage style fright need look no further than this 1999 film, a low budget independent picture that managed to make a remarkable amount of noise thanks to a highly successful marketing campaign. I'm scared to close my eyes. <laughs> the Blair Witch Project scared audiences and filmmakers alike with its shaky first person camera angles and realistic acting performances, replacing a traditional reliance upon special effects or extravagant sets. Indeed, it's highly unlikely that we would have ever seen the likes of a paranormal activity or a wreck without Blair Witch and its bold, stylistic direction. Whether or not that's a good thing is up for debate, but there's no question that the Blair Witch Project was beyond influential. There's no one here to help you! That's your motivation! Number 9. The Dark Knight It's simple. We uh, kill the Batman. Sure. Comic book movies weren't exactly all bright and cheery prior to the release of The Dark Knight in 2008. We're looking at you, Blade. But there's no denying that the incredible success of director Christopher Nolan's film resulted in a drastically dark shift in tone when it came to big budget comic adaptations. Ah, the good cop, bad cop routine? Not exactly. Much of this success was thanks to the career defining performance of Heath Ledger as Batman's arch nemesis, The Joker. But Nolan's decision to embrace a comparatively down-to-earth and realistic approach set The Dark Knight apart from the broad and occasionally campy direction comic book adaptations had been taking before its release. The result was a film that set a seriously high bar for its competition. You're either die a hero or you live long enough to see yourself become the villain. Number 8. Jaws You're gonna need a bigger boat. We're gonna need a bigger screen to contain this monster, a frighteningly popular 1975 success story which arguably ushered in the summer blockbuster. <laughs> Steven Spielberg's adaptation of Peter Benchley's novel was an early effort for the director, who until that time was known primarily for the TV movie Duel. Beat me on the grade, you can't beat me on the grade! Jaws was fraught with production issues, and was seen at the time as a make-or-break film for Spielberg. In the end, though, it was one that almost single-handedly made the man's career. It also kick-started a legion of killer animal imitators in its wake, from killer whales and piranha to the seemingly endless series of shark flicks that would try to hitch their wagons to Spielberg's gravy train. Oh, boys! I think he's come back for his noon feeding. Number 7. Airplane. I've got to get out of here. Calm down. Get a hold of yourself. Just please let me handle this. I've got to get out. Younger movie fans may not recognize the Zucker brothers for their contributions to comedy cinema, but the duo, along with co-director Jim Abrams, were right there at the forefront with Airplane, a riotous and raunchy satire of 1970s disaster flicks. The Zuckers had already proved their boundary-pushing abilities with 1977's The Kentucky Fried Movie but it was Airplane that saw the siblings firing on all creative cylinders, creating a film that still works remarkably well today. You ever been in a cockpit before? No, sir, I've never been up in a plane before. You ever seen a grown man naked? So influential was Airplane that films still copy its style today, from Movie 43 to Disaster Movie to the Scary Movie franchise, two of which feature Zucker brother David as director. <laughs> there goes that duck again. Number six. Rocky. You know, I've been coming in for six years. Six years you've been sticking it to me. I want to know how come. The odds are probably pretty fair that you've seen a sports movie about a plucky underdog who rises to the top of his or her field to challenge the top dog. It's highly unlikely, however, that you've seen one constructed with as much heart, soul, and passion 
as Sylvester Stallone's 1976 triumph, Rocky. From that iconic theme music by composer Bill Conti, to the cast's tremendous performances to the film's powerful ending, Rocky not only laid the groundwork for a franchise that continues to this day, it also set the gold standard for all sports films that followed. I should have stopped this one with your father. I'm stopping this one now. Don't, okay, let me finish. Number five, Star Wars Episode IV, A New Hope. Hey, I'm never coming back to this planet again. Out of all the films on this list, it's quite possible that this one has the most shameless rip-offs to its credit. Of course, when you're one of the most important and financially successful films in the world, it's easy to measure your success in imitators. What are you doing? No! I'm a human being from the planet Earth! In fact, the influence of Star Wars is so massive that it's effectively gone on to become a part of our cultural lexicon, as evidenced by the legions of films that have sought to set their space operas in a galaxy far, far away. Some have been more successful than others, but as the saying goes, you just can't improve on perfection. Great shot, kid! That was one in a million! Remember, the Force will be with you, always. Number 4. Die Hard yippee motherfucker. It's more than a Christmas movie, it's Die Hard, and it serves as the template for the explosive, engaging summer action blockbuster. The film may have started life as an adaptation of Roderick Thorpe's book, Nothing Lasts Forever, but director John McTiernan and co. ended up with the archetypal survival story of one man standing tall against insurmountable odds. Welcome to the party, pal! The role of John McClane was actually offered first to Frank Sinatra, who had starred in an earlier Thorpe adaptation, The Detective. But of course, the job was eventually taken on by Bruce Willis. Happy trails, Hans. Resulting in one of the actor's most classic and defining performances, and one hell of a copied movie. Get off my plane. <laughs> Number 3. 2001, A Space Odyssey. Open the pod bay doors, Hal. I'm sorry, Dave. Cheesy sci-fi? Forget about it. Stanley Kubrick was never a filmmaker to do anything by half measures. And the proof of that is in the proverbial pudding with his 1968 masterpiece, 2001, A Space Odyssey. <laughs> Drive-in B-movie science fiction tales were forgotten in the face of Kubrick's mixture of heady, hard sci-fi screenwriting and ultra-expansive, boundary-pushing visuals. The legacy of the film is one whose impact continues to be felt in films like Interstellar and Ex Machina as Kubrick and 2001 managed to rewrite the book on just how well intelligent science fiction could be brought to the silver screen. Eighteen months ago, the first evidence of intelligent life off the Earth. Number 2. Halloween Hello? Who is this? Just as director Toby Hooper's The Texas Chainsaw Massacre turned horror on its ear in 1974 with its deadly serious atmosphere and grime, so too did John Carpenter's iconic Halloween change the game when it debuted four years later. Carpenter's film served as a jumping off point for the modern slasher movie, which, alongside others like Black Christmas, Friday the 13th, and Mario Bava's A Bay of Blood, set up many of the established tropes utilized by the genre to this day. <laughs> first-person camera work, a mysterious masked killer, and an ultra-classic musical score all combined to create cinema history in Halloween, a time-tested effort that put Carpenter and his crew on the horror movie map. Michael? Before we announce our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. See if you can guess what I am now. I'm a zit. Number one, Psycho. psychological horror starts here. Director Alfred Hitchcock begged audiences not to reveal the devilish twist that occurred during this 1960 classic, a black-and-white creep fest 
that's since gone on to become one of the most influential and inspiring films in the world. Psycho not only served as the template for showcasing police procedural drama, evocative cinematography, and a tortured, disturbed antagonist, it also made history with Hitchcock's promotional tactics. We all go a little mad sometimes. Taglines accompanied the film stating that, quote, no one will be seated after the start, while audiences were also implored to not give away the film's classic ending, melding together creativity and showmanship in a way that would go on to inspire generations of filmmakers. That is rather slippery of you, Agents Darling. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.